Hey fans, good evening. Thanks so much for tuning in to tonight's broadcast. Kalamazoo College, the neutral site now, hosting the Lake Superior State Lakers and the Quincy University Hawks. Just a few minutes, we're gonna have the playing of our national anthem and the presentation of tonight's starting lineups. I wanna say thank you once again for tuning in and we hope you enjoy. Tip-off scheduled for 7 p.m. tonight here in Kalamazoo. We'll get you an update on that if we know more. The Quincy Hawks came in last season 14 and 15 overall, currently two and two out of the gate. 1-0 at home, 0-1 away, 1-1 neutral. The Lake Superior State Lakers went 13-14, but notably 12-6 in GLIAC conference play. Much better when that conference season started. And they're currently 3-0, catching a flyer out of the gate, 69.7 points a game, 2-0 in away games, and 1-0 in neutral sites. Again, another neutral site matchup ready tonight. Quincy Hawks and the Lake Superior State Lakers scheduled for that 7 p.m. tip. Still got some layup lines going. Last couple warm-ups. Might be just behind that 7 p.m. start time, but no sweat. We're glad to have you with us here before. Take a look at a couple of more significant stats from the uh, early going of the season so far. For Lake Superior State, they had Tyson Edmondson making his season debut versus Indy in their last time out. Edmondson with the 17 points on five out of 11, five out of 11 rather from three point range in 34 minutes. Again, that's all in the season debut. Absolutely no working in slowly. That's uh, immediate exposure and a uh, big workload, but it paid off with Edmondson going for the 17 first time out. On the Quincy side, they've got three currently in double figures scoring for the season. That's Zion Richardson, Nate Shockey, and Isaiah Foster. Quincy's so far at uh, 30, or rather 73.8 points a game. 44% from the field, only 28% or so from three-point range. You see a little bit of contrasting styles. Lake Superior definitely shot noticeably better from deep at about 35.6% uh, from three. Big difference here. And free throw shooting as well could play a major factor. Quincy shoots 67% from the line. That can't be a number that thrills coaches. Lake Superior State at about 71.5% last season, and they're even just a tick better than that so far this season. Quincy's last time out was a 105 to 63 loss at Grand Valley. It's a really tough place to play there at GVSU. And that 42 point loss. As you might imagine, by far the biggest of the season so far. Would have been the biggest of last season as well. But they also have one massive win under their belts at Hannibal LaGrange. That was a 92 to 39 drubbing, a 53 point win just last week. The Kalamazoo College men's team has won their last four, if you've been following them, and uh, out-rebounding every opponent so far. They're not in action tonight, though. The Lake Superior State Lakers and the Quincy Hawks just about ready to tip off. Here comes those starting lineups, national anthem, and then we'll be ready to tip.
Good luck to both teams offered from the PA announcer. And we're just about ready to tip. 7.02 p.m. is uh, local time here in the zoo. The Quincy Hawks gonna be our home team tonight. Quasi home team again in the neutral matchup. Quincy is going to tip with five, Ibrahim Drami. Against 11, Kingsley Perkins. 6-8 for Perkins, for Drame, 6-7. Ready to tip. Let's get this thing started. 7.03 p.m., tip off in the zoo. Opening control to Quincy, and we're underway. 33, Mason Wuyak. the first possession. Turn around from the low post, looking to put up the shot first and get the roll, Zion Richardson. First two point bucket. Got the catch outside the paint, just backed his way down in. Pretty big for a guard, Richardson listed 6'4", senior from Plano, Texas. Guards with a post presence, don't always see it around here. Great slash and score on a finger roll, Kingsley Perkins. Drame passed up, a rather straight on three. Hawks launch a three, that one looks like it hit the wiring up there and dead ball. Three-pointer came off the hand, didn't look too bad. But got that funky hop. Whatever the opposite of a shooter's roll is. Lakers coming down the floor. One bucket apiece. They launch a three, comes off the rim and out. Andy Soma misses. Quincy wants to launch the straight on three. He pump faked the first, he buries the second. Ibrahim Drame, 5-2 through the early going. Lakers with a quick drive kick. Ooh, it's tipped maybe just a little bit by Isaiah Foster. He was able to 
Pull the hand back. He looks like he actually got the call changed. You so rarely see that. But I think he argued his case and won. Might be a first time that a referee's ever changed a signal like that. Hawks ball. Dump off, low post, going up, scoring, Drame. Back-to-back -back buskets, the three, now the two. 7-2 through the early going for Quincy. A three to answer, went about halfway down, now rebound coming off to Zion Richardson. Can't get the transition three, but a great feed down low and a foul. Xander Okerlund should be the one hit with the personal. At the line, two shots, Mason Wiak. Well, so the, the shooter's role now is in effect for Wiak. That one was on the rim a while, but it falls. Wiak on the year, 70% free throw shooter. In a small sample size, seven out of 10. Gets a pair right there. 10 to two, rather nine to two Hawks in the early going. Roll to the rim, little hop step, that pass deflected. Now stolen, Zion Richardson. Ready to maybe get out and running. And still no transition threes yet. If you shoot it well enough from the half court, that's no big deal. Weak to launch, misses. Rebound, Perkins. And here come the Lakers, back down the floor. Strongly contested three. Weak rebounds. Already, maybe you gotta start thinking about the shot selection and getting more of the looks that you like. Oakland carries up the floor, might go to the rack, spins, scores! Xander Oakland. And getting out and running on a miss or even a make from the other side just gives you a lot better chance to get buckets like that. Here's a quick step back two, nailed by Foster. 11-4 Quincy. Approaching four minutes gone. Here for half number one. Soma, hop steps, great dump off and a two-hand jam. Kingsley Perkins rams that thing home. Perkins got two out of the first three baskets on the Lakers side. It's an awkward contested two, it's still banked in. Yeah, the bank's open tonight, Zion Richardson. They're saying shot selection, schmott selection, forget about it. We take whatever we want. A quick drive, roll to the rim, and foul on Weak. Two shots coming for the aforementioned Tyson Edmondson. Got a quick media timeout coming to you, by the way. At uh, the 15-16 mark of the first half. We'll stay uh, right here with you through the media timeouts. Why not? We've got plenty to talk about. we got a 13-6 score. Quincy Hawks out in front. Scored a couple of different ways so far. Hawks have hit one three, got a couple of free throws, the first two free throws of the game, and uh, most of the scoring in the paint so far. You know, quick catch, turn around, one post move has pretty much been all the, uh, even the smaller guys have needed to shake loose and get up some post scores. LSSU has shot 38% for the season from three, it hasn't hit one yet so far. Lakers also come in, I think we, uh, Actually overestimated them a little bit on the free throws as we were reading you some of the stats before the game. They're under 65% as a team so far. That's with a pretty small sample size, of course. 
uh, early on in the season with just three games in. But uh, less than 65% is not really going to cut it. As a team, they shot 72% last season, did LSSU. So if they get more of that kind of number, they'll be all right. But uh, the 65% or so, that's more of a scary statistic. Two shots, Edmondson at the line, and the first one is a little short. Edmondson back for another try. Goes one for two. With that 17-point uh, outburst in the Lakers' last game out from Edmondson, we mentioned that was his season debut. Did that without a free throw attempt. And he already has two in the early going here, but went one of two at the line. 13-7, Quincy. Isaiah Foster, another short step back, two. Went about halfway down, rebound, Soma. Hezzy, now a kick to the corner, far too long. Just a bit outside. It's a great effort trying to save that thing, running into the stands from Shockey. But no luck, nobody there down by the baseline. Lakers ball. Inbounded right from that Kalamazoo logo. Again, thanks for everybody that's joined us over here on YouTube. Clock running down, hits five. Going to have to launch. Might have been over and back if they did retain possession of this thing. Oh, no. Now they're going to say the shot clock violation. I thought it wouldn't have reset. Never had the change of possession. Nothing good was going to happen about that possession as soon as that ball went back past that Hornet logo at midcourt. Turnover on the shot clock violation. Teams getting a little chance to match subs. Blake Cassidy was the one that just checked on for the Lakers. The guard goes 6'5", 170 from Pelston. Number zero, Jake Hamilton on for the Hawks. A little bit of help coming from the post. Shot misses. There's Peter Nwoke, the Lagos, Nigeria native, to come and give a little bit of help on that last post look. Ball going to stay here with the Lakers after it was tipped. There's Omar Suleiman. Inbounds for Womack. Gosh, I thought Womack was going to consider pulling up just right from the edge of those Hornet wings for the long three. Instead, he backs down and scores off the glass. Devin Womack gets the bucket. But right off of the make, they run the floor and lay one in. Jake Hamilton. That's exactly the key. On a make or a miss, get out and run all the same and just create easy buckets. Even if it doesn't look a, like a transition opportunity, you just might catch somebody napping. Long straight on three, rattles home. Soma, bottoms up. Sorry, we just had a correction here on the uh, numbers between Soma and Tyson Edmondson. Edmondson wearing four, Soma wearing the 22. Our apologies on that. So Edmondson with the last three-pointer. Suleiman 
to Womack in the backcourt. Edmondson, quick catch and shoot, bang! And if you blinked, you missed it. This game's tied. 15 apiece. Tried to hit the Hail Mary down there. It's caught and then a real slight bump along the baseline. It's just enough. That was caught way deep down there by Jameel Wilson. And then he has no real play there but to just lean in and throw a hip out there, hope somebody makes contact with him. Nate Shockey from the baseline. In for John Kelly. Now down low and getting that tough roll. Jameel Wilson, two points. Well, the Hawks still haven't trailed. Lakers did just tie it up, but it's 17-15 now. Heading towards 12 minutes, first half. Long, straight on three, Barry. Blake Cassidy. And now first lead change, 18-17, LSSU. A quick answer from three, rattles out. The tip, Womack lined that thing up, let it go, and for good reason. Next media timeout's gonna come here with probably substitutions to follow afterwards on both sides. We'll see you in just a moment. This one comes at 11 minutes, 48 seconds. Again, we just had the very first lead change after that made three-pointer from Blake Cassidy. Lake Superior State, 18-17 in what is uh, ostensibly the road game for them. Quincy, our home team here tonight in Kalamazoo. Have now one tie, one lead change on the board. Quincy came in, two and two. We mentioned that towards the top. One and oh in home games, oh and one away. One and one neutral, so really tough to predict any kind of trend there, especially just through the uh, first couple of games. Quincy finished 500 in the Great Lakes Valley, that's their conference, last season. Nine and five at home. Didn't play well in neutral sites though. Didn't play well, particularly away from home uh, with a five and seven record. They did win this matchup last year with LSSU. They won that one in overtime at their place, 59 to 54. We talk about a slugfest, 59 to 54 in overtime. A slobber knocker. Scoring pace, you know, we'll see if it picks up a little bit more, but I don't think we're going to be in quite the everybody at 50 territory. Seventy two point one points a game so far for Quincy for the year. Open three. Edmondson rattles one home. Dyson Edmondson buries another. And a twenty one seventeen lead. Chance to make it more after a travel. Game's flipped on its head. Womack, Cassidy, Nwoke, Suleiman Edmondson. Two five on the floor for the Lakers. Edmondson missed from short range. Ball still loose for a moment. Carter gets out of there with it. Rather, uh, Isaiah Foster get out of there with it. Foster to launch, no, after a tip, somebody's gotta get a loose ball, foul down there. I imagine it'll go on Drame. Oh, if they're saying Laker foul, it looks like it's gonna be Suleiman. Drame was the one who looked like he was sort of trying to go over the back. But uh, yeah, the foul is on Suleiman and now he's gonna sit down. Lakers have 21-17 lead. Quincy has the basketball. 
Foster looked like he might launch with Womack in his face right off of that screen. Said tries to whip that pass cross court and it's turned over. Weak got a paw on it, but just too much spice on it. Edmondson moves. And great dish, found Womack. Quick two points on the layup. 23-17. And wow, how this game's turned all, all the way around. The possession arrow goes the Lakers' way. The six-point lead going their way. The momentum, yeah, you name it. Lakers in the white aways. Quincy in the brown and yellow homes. In case you ever forget who's the home team, the color scheme should usually help you out. Womack picked up the dribble and kind of shot put in one. And loose ball foul after. Looks like that time they'll get Perkins. His first, team's fourth for the first half. Six point lead for LSSU. Quincy carries down the floor with Foster. Foster's all alone down the corner. If they can maybe just find him. Ah, I think that ball's gotta be swung out to Foster. He had a long time to sit and throw his hands up. Say, hey, we got a double somewhere else. It means I'm open. Lakers really moving it a lot better that time. And the finger roll, the finish. Hunter Soper. The hang time just made that all the more aesthetic from Soper. 25-17. Weak left wide open. Three-pointer off, offensive rebound. And the Hawks get another try at it. Orlando Thomas was the one pulled down that board. Thomas now got possession. Clock running down a little bit. Drame lowered the shoulder, blocking foul. And uh, for anybody who's ever tried to draw the charge in that situation and gets trucked and can't get the call, you got to feel for him. It was Soper. Just had the nice bucket on the other end. His second and team's fifth. And we're getting the court wiped up a little bit here at the 8.52 mark of the first half. Our coaching staffs tonight are led by Steve Hawkins on the Quincy side and Steve Hedinga for LSSU. Foster wants to throw one up with the right, hooks it in. And the scoring drought ends. That was 10 uninterrupted from LSSU before that bucket from Isaiah Foster. It was a 17-15 Quincy lead at the time. Edmondson from the corner, missed. Rebound, Weak. Hawks still with the pace, hanging and hitting Zion Richardson. Four point game. Now maybe the pace on the ties and the lead change is gonna start increasing. That three is true all the way. Kingsley Perkins stepped into one, held the finish, 28-21. Under eight minutes. Richardson dumps for Weak, draws a foul on Perkins. Kingsley Perkins at the line, two shots. We'll be coming just after that media timeout. So the team's sixth foul, the second one on Perkins. You got eh, eight minutes or so in the half. Do you see Perkins sit for the rest of the half? Or do you bring him back in after you know, a three, four minute break 
and risk him possibly getting the third. Really just depends on the, uh, the coaching and how you feel about a guy being able to defend without fouling what that decision ends up being. Again, there will be three throws coming out of the timeout. 28-21 right now, LSSU. Over to the Quincy Hawks here in Kalamazoo. Leading scorer so far for the season for Quincy, Zion Richardson. Richardson came in at 12 and a half a game, but again, they had three in double figures. It's a pretty balanced attack. Richardson, Nate Shockey, who we have not seen make a bucket yet so far, and Isaiah Foster, all in double figures, average scoring. Foul trouble not typically been a big issue on either side. The Hawks coming into tonight had committed 69 total fouls through four games, so talking a little bit over 16 a game. That's certainly a number you'll live with. Not too many bonus free throws if you keep that consistent. We act good on the first free throw. And now four out of four from the line for Mason Wujek. Now maybe the team free throw percentage could see an uptick after tonight. Came in at 67.4%. Wild shot, I thought it, yeah, that one also appeared to hit the uh, wiring up there above the backboard and dead ball from that reason. Got to try and throw that shot up, though. Hope that you get fouled and get to the line again. Snatch some of the momentum back. Still, Lakers with a 28-23 lead. Again, Quincy won this matchup 59-54 in OT last year. Foster with a beauty of a scoop layup. Had Womack with some help from Oakland. And he still goes at them both and scores. Three-point ball game. Great feed, the hop step. Nwoke went up, missed at the rim. Hawks, great chance for a transition. Three. And missed. Womack, the rebound. Womack swings one, open. Soma missed it. Both teams. Started cold from three. Down low, post score for John Kelly, and timeout. Now this one, not of the media variety. 28-27. And uh, coaches on both sides kind of thinking, eh, time to get a break, regroup, and we need to make sure our side's got the lead heading into the half. We'll uh, check in on the rest of the coaching staffs on the LSSU side. Our assistant coaches, Joshua Henschel in season number two and Trent Davis in his first year with SID. That's uh, Sports Information Director Chase Ward. Don't give our Sports Information Directors nearly enough credit. On the Kalamazoo side, one that always does a great job for us is Steve Wydean. He signs the checks around here for so many, including yours included, uh, yours truly. <laughs> Uh, but also employing camera people, everybody working down at the table, and so many things that you'll never see. Uh, writing up the recaps, being in charge of our live stats and entering those, and so much more. Lakers ball with the slimmest of margins, 28-27. Tip, now a steal. Getting out and running, Shockey went down hard, but a foul. We, uh, we don't need to turn the mic levels up too much to hear Coach Hedinga clearly thinking that uh, that ball was out and then it's a travel from Shockey. Don't need any special lip reading ability either. 
nonetheless, Nate Shockey to the line, two shots. A shot at an 88% clip to start this season. Fantastic. Oh, and misses. Had shot 88% to start. Maybe you should save that for uh, after that first free throw attempt and then try not to jinx him too hard. Omar Suleiman back in for the Lakers. He pumps, now gonna take that elbow jumper. And rebound, Kelly. Still, one point game. Foster, long step back three, short. And I mean short. Then as Weak collected it, I believe he stepped on the baseline. Gonna stay a one point game. Looked like we've been here for a while. 28-27, still your score. And you pretty audibly heard somebody there. I think it was Shockey say switch. Love to hear that communication. That's kind of the benefit we get from being so close to the court here. Not up in a box, but being right down courtside in the bleachers. After the steal from Foster, the Hawks pushing. Great no-look pass. Layup just became a real tough angle for Wilson. And it comes off the glass. Five minutes left, half number one. Whistle. Wasn't much, a little grab. Fouls called on John Kelly. Edmondson for Nuoke, looks like is the change for the Lakers. We're gonna allow this one way, way in the backcourt. <laughs> you know, your inbound play just as you drew it up. Dribble handoff, Edmondson, three, bang. Money. 31, 27, Hawks. Kelly, gonna be left open, the answer, missed, offensive rebound. Jamil Wilson kept that alive, he's doubled, he's gotta get out quickly. Shockey was calling for it. He slips, took a lot of contact down there. We still got no fouls called. It's a mosh pit, and finally, Richardson scores. I mean, that turned into a boxing match down there. Edmondson to answer, Barry. Edmondson has caught fire. Got to try and run him off the three-point line more and more. Shockey from three right back. This is the offensive pace that we were missing. Going to go into half with the fireworks on display. 34-32, Lakers with a slight lead again. Kissing one off the glass with Soper. Edmondson just flashed right in front of the table to generate that steal. He won't get the stat credit, but he totally made that play happen. Open for three, halfway down. Edmondson had a shot on the rebound. Came out for Foster. Under three minutes for half number one. Foster with another no look, and that's rejected. Tyson Edmondson with a chase down. The timeout here comes at two minutes, 53 seconds of the first half. We'll take just a quick moment on the media timeout, as I'm sure they're doing on other outlets here.
take a look back at uh, both teams, what they've done through the first couple of weeks of the season so far, or really just over a week. It was the GMAC and the Great Lakes Valley Regional Crossover where Quincy began their season. They dropped one 83 to 69 at home versus Cedarville, and then won one versus Findlay. The tournament played in Kirksville, Missouri. Then a home game against Hannibal LaGrange. Again, absolutely took it to them. A 92 to 39 thrashing. And then they got it back in turn just two nights ago on Saturday. They went to Grand Valley, and that was a 105 to 63 loss there in Allendale. Grand Valley program. One of the tops, Foster with the catch and shoot three, about halfway down, but no dice. Rebound, Okerlund. And Lakers, now do they want to burn some more of this shot clock and have a couple longer possessions? Ooh, Foster's going to be hit with a foul. Tried to flash in front of that pass and take it the other way. The other option, of course, is to go quicker and try to get a little scoring flurry and just hope you hold up on the defensive end. Soma on the baseline to inbound. Skip pass, kick ball. But we'll just do the whole thing over. Now they're gonna have Edmondson inbound, and you've got to be wary of that ball coming right back to him. Although, again, going with that inbound that's way, way long in the pass. Back to Soma, not going to get an immediate opportunity. Edmondson still might launch here. The step back on Weak, and that one's off. Can't hit them all. Still, four point contest. Hamilton picks up a dribble, needs some help. Over for Foster. Foster looking over at Coach Hawkins, getting some signals. Clock at six. He's going to have to go. That ball touched just about everybody as it got uh, deflected. And now I think we got one more official's time. I was assuming they're looking to sort out here, but he's clearly pointing to himself. This one's taken with one minute, 52 seconds left in the half. That's it. Lake Superior State with a 36-32 lead right now. Nothing's been comfortable the entire way, that's for sure. But uh, your leading scorer in the game so far, as you might imagine, Tyson Edmondson for the Lakers. Edmondson got hot from three, stayed hot really. And the Lakers are pretty good. In fact, a very good three-point shooting team for the most part coming in at about 38% for the year. Their opponents shooting about 37%, so, you know, the give with the take. But they had only been allowing 63 points a game through their first three. Both teams on just slightly beyond their typical scoring pace. And that thing is intercepted. I mean, that's the linebacker lurking underneath. You got to look that off. But what a play at the same time from Tyson Edmondson. Edmondson's kind of in control of this one. Not getting a whole lot of movement right now without the ball. A little bit stagnant. All it takes is one drive and a score from Perkins. 38-32. Lakers in a good position to go into the break with the lead. Shockey launches, contested three. Loose ball foul, that might go on Perkins. Uh, there's a couple of other Lakers in the area. They could go Okerlund possibly. Blake Cassidy is the sub on for the Lakers right now. Oh 
Edmondson. Now finally they're trying to run him off that three-point line. They've seen enough. Somebody else going to have to make a couple. Soma had the miss. The offensive rebound from Cassidy. And then should be loose ball foul on the Hawks. The Quincy fouls on Isaiah Foster. Team sixth. Going with a much bigger lineup here as Drame taps out Foster. Drame listed at 6'7", and Weak listed at 6'8". Some died in the wool bigs. And again, Richardson for a guard, really good size at 6'4". About 45 seconds left. Two possessions at minimum. Edmondson lost it as he went up. He's slow to get back. Hawks with numbers. Richardson bullies everybody. Have you no mercy? Drive through a whole team. Cut to a four point game. 38, 34. Cassidy, dangerous pass. Shockey almost jumped that thing. Shot clock not quite turned off, but it might as well be if they wait long enough. Whistle should be the common foul before the shot. Yeah, it was. Not going to get the continuation there. And bonus free throw. The one and one coming up. Team seventh, so probably no danger of the double bonus with only 5.5 seconds. Crazy things have happened, but very unlikely. It would definitely behoove Quincy on the next possession to use all of those 5.5 seconds. Not uh, too much to ask. And on the front end of the one and one, the free throw is good from Soper. He's got five in the first half so far. And a couple of aesthetic looking finger rolls. Soper left the next one a little bit short. Hawks gonna have to launch pretty soon. Richardson, that was probably gonna be a three. <laughs> one of the, the shortest threes imaginable. <laughs> but I don't think he had ever landed yet still. Comes up empty and at the half it's 39 34, the Lake Superior State Lakers gonna hold the lead so far. Again, your leading scorer in the ball game on the Quincy side, Zion Richardson, and in the game overall, Tyson Edmondson. Get you more stats when we come out of the uh, halftime break. We've got 15 minutes on the clock for that half, then we'll be back with you for half number two. Again, this is Kalamazoo hosting the neutral site game here Quincy our home team tonight and LSSU the away team Tanner White thanks uh, so much for joining us over here on YouTube here in Kalamazoo if you weren't able to come out with us and uh, see the game from the court side we're very happy that you tuned in tonight again we'll be back in just moments for half number two between the Lake Superior State Lakers and the Quincy Hawks here in Kalamazoo
Hey folks, it's just about time to get rolling for half number two. If you're just joining us, it's the Lake Superior State Lakers and the Quincy Hawks. Here in Kalamazoo at the neutral site contest, the Hornets hosting the Division II contest here. And Quincy Hawks, our home team, Lake Superior State away. Quincy came in 2-2 two two. so far on the young season. Lake Superior State 3-0, and oh, looking to stay undefeated. Catch that flyer out of the gate. They've got Tyson Edmondson with 15 in the first half already. Edmondson leading all scorers, and Zion Richardson for the Hawks with 10 leads them on their side. Quincy finishes that first half shooting 14 out of 33 for 42% from the field. Xperia State shoots 50% and more importantly, seven of 16, that's 44% from three compared to just two of 12 on three-pointers from Quincy. Been a real clean game in terms of the turnovers. It's six Laker turnovers, only five for the Hawks. Seven fouls apiece, and you saw a very, very slight time spent by either side in the bonus. And not too much to complain about here. Just a quality basketball game between two good teams. We're about ready for half number two. Hawks are a little bit more ready, perhaps, are already in position here. They've got Foster, Ibrahim Drame, Mason Weak, Zion Richardson, and Orlando Thomas as their starting five for half number two. It's going to be Edmondson, Soma, Perkins, Soper, and looks like uh, Oakland in the corner as well. Those will be your five for the Lakers. Here for half number two, Lakers open up with a five-point lead. Weak off the dribble handoff. Foster, mid-range, misses that time. Foster's been hitting the mid-range for the most part, even of the step-back variety. Comes up empty on that one. Edmondson swings a strong pass for Soper, gets it back. And a foul away from the ball. Should be a hold. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be on Richardson. Took 33 seconds into the half. That's all to get the first personal. And again, with those really long inbounds, almost all of those things caught back behind that Horner logo at midcourt. Perkins wants to turn around the post, move, scores. On Weak. And Lakers are now over 50% from the floor. Blistering 16 out of 31. Ooh, you got a big tie up there. I don't know, I think I would have been okay with that call, just a uh, jump ball. But Okerlund is going to be the one hit with the foul. He was the one that took the worst of the contact, too, the one that ended up on the deck. Yeah, you feel for him. 41-34, Lakers. Step back three. That was off from the beginning. And a rebound from Okerlund. Edmondson put up 15 in that first half on five out of nine from three. Great extra pass, and Okerlund just couldn't down it. Lead's gonna stay where it is at seven. Richardson spinning his way in, and it falls. Richardson, all the highlight players are coming right around that basket right now. That's why you can't miss them. Richardson has yet to hit from three. 0 for 3 there, but he's 6 out of 10 from the floor. Adds uh, three rebounds and a couple assists for good measure. Kingsley Perkins also quietly hasn't missed from the floor. Perkins is perfect uh, 5 out of 5, and he's got 11. Tried to go to Perkins in the post. Uh, it's tipped by Foster, and it'll stay with LSSU.
Fox running down. It's gonna be the fadeaway. That's the only option, and Okerlund hits. Xander Okerlund, big bucket at the very end of that clock. 43-36. Weak off of the screen. Flip one to the corner, that's wide open from Drame, comes off the rim, rebound Edmondson. Oakland transition three, no. And now the three car pile up and a jump ball. For everyone to avoid a foul in that situation, eh, that's just high level basketball. Edmondson's ready to inbound. Still kind of blown away that that just ended up being a jump ball. And uh, now we're wiping the wet spot again. Quick little pause here, 17-21, second half. Edmondson hasn't put up a field goal attempt yet for the second half here, but again, went five out of nine from three-point range in the first half. Nobody else has made more than one on either side. <laughs> No big scoring secret. Okerlund, another well-contested three, and that one's off, rebound, Drame. Foster, a drive, flips it up off the glass. And did Foster force a foul there on Edmondson? Looks like he might have. I don't think anyone is particularly on the same page there. We got uh, coaches still getting explanations, <laughs> both coaches, in fact. And uh, nobody on any, either, either of the bench is real happy. But uh, foul on the Lakers. Weak hands off, Richardson, clock running down. Spins, flips one up, and rebound, Okerlund. Edmondson, great extra pass. Soma fouled. Oh, so close. Could have been the four point play. Still, three free throws coming. It's a good way to try and cut into the lead a little bit. Andy Soma. Ready with three shots. Some was a senior from Traverse City area, TC West High School. And first free throw, no good. Good news is, got a couple more. Soma's first free throw attempts for the season. And starts 0 for 2. He's gonna take a little bit longer here, maybe a Change up the routine a little bit. One more chance. And that one's perfect. It's a great job on the adjustment from Soma. 44-36 though, that's all the lead expands to. Shockey for Drame, top of the key, lost it. Weak picks it back up. In no uncertain terms, everybody's yelling clock. Weak tried to put it back and missed. Okerlund, rebound. Edmondson, catch and shoot. What's new? Six three-pointers already. Tyson Edmondson. He went five out of 11 in their last game out just a couple of days ago. Six out of 10 from three here. Yeah, that's no secret. And you need to make a little schematic adjustment to just make sure that he can't catch that ball outside that three-point line. After this foul here, 
The free throws will be coming in a moment. The immediate timeout happens here at the 15-34 mark of the quarter, or of the half, rather. 47-36, LSSU. If you're with us at the top, we mentioned that uh, Quincy didn't play bad down the stretch. Finished with a uh, 500 record overall in Great Lakes Valley play in their conference play at 10 and 10. And we're one game under 500 for the season at 14 and 15 overall. LSSU also finished one game under 500 overall, but played fantastic in GLIAC play at 12 and 6. LSSU went 0 and 3 in neutral sites last year, but uh, 1 and 0 in neutral sites this year, and they lead this one, of course, here tonight as well. LSSU has been on a scoring pace of 69.7 points a game for this year. And just beyond that pace now, as I said, at 47. Less than five minutes in to half number two. Okerlund, Perkins, Womack, and Soper all came in averaging double figures for the Lakers so far. That doesn't count the uh, the pouring in of six threes from Edmondson right now. So he wasn't eligible with the uh, meeting the minimum scoring requirements. Richardson, no luck on the first free throw. Hawks are four of six from the line. Lake Superior State, uh, only three of seven. That's one area to criticize when you're, you know, with a double-digit lead in the second half and you say, well, we want to find something to improve upon, something that we're not happy about. That's going to be another. That pass is far too high. Edmondson tried to sky up and save some of our scorers over there from that ball. It's a 10-point contest. The Lakers sub right here is Soma coming off and Womack coming on. Richardson pumped. Edmondson right there was the on-ball defender. They go left wing this time. Ball getting a little quiet. And with under five on the clock, offensive foul. It's like the push off from Kelly is what they're calling. Turning it over, already down 10. Not going to help the Hawks try to climb back into this one. Edmondson, ISO'd on Kelly right now. Going to get it back. I imagine he's going to shoot this thing right. <laughs> it's a great little pass flick behind his back. Ball's still going to find him. Edmondson for three. No chance that time. Rebound, Kelly. But the inevitability <laughs> of certain possessions just that are going to end with the Edmondson three. It's kind of funny. Shockey and Womack now, the matchup to watch. Shockey launches off the screen from Weak and rebound Cassidy, rather Nwoke. Womack lost the handle. Looks like he was going to drive it. Some valuable time leaks off. Edmondson. Clock down to three. They got a good look almost with the end one. But Nwoke still will shoot two. Nwoke, red shirt sophomore. One of three uh, on the current LSSU roster along with Drew Hess and Kendall Smith. Woke is far from home, the Lagos Nigerian native. And the free throw is good. The 
Luoke back with a second. Front rims, 48-37 as they get one of two. Quincy goes back with Jameel Wilson on the floor here. Kelly, well defended three and uh, far too short again. Now getting out and running. That ball went about halfway down from Soper off a tip. The great hustle from Nwoke. Looks like he just won them the possession. Suleiman is going to tap out Soper. Edmondson inbounds, Suleiman wanted to go up right away. He got stripped and ripped away. Jamil Wilson with the steal. Quincy shoots a brutal two of 16 from three so far. It's just over 12% for the night. Make whatever other adjustments you want, but at some point, if none of your shots fall, you're really starting to get desperate. Suleiman off for Nwoke. Edmondson pumped. Again, you just so often expect him to shoot that one. Now he's going to shoot one from way downtown. Yeah, the heat check. But you understand why he's just got to keep shooting. Shockey for Richardson. Missed. Rebound, Okerlund. Womack to the rack, kisses one off the glass, and scores. 50-37. Next media timeout coming up. And I think it happened just a moment early. Either that or this one was called from over at the uh, Quincy bench. Well, the official's saying that's, that's uh, media timeout. So it comes here as the score is 50-37. to 37. Clock shows 12 minutes, 16 seconds left to play in regulation. The leading scorer for tonight, still Tyson Edmondson. Had 17 in the season debut last time out. Has 18 tonight on 6 of 12 from deep. Four rebounds, a couple of assists to go with. Kingsley Perkins still hasn't missed from the floor. He's 5 of 5, has a three-pointer, and 11 points overall. Zion Richardson, the only member of the Hawks in double figures. He's got 13 on 6 of 12 from the field. Add three rebounds, two assists. Total rebounds are 27 to 25 in favor of LSSU right now. Offensive rebounds, not a huge disparity. It's eight for Quincy and five for the Lakers. Not too much to complain about on either side there. And uh, very few fouls so far in the second half. Each team had seven in half number one there. Now we've got 11 fouls to nine called against the Hawks. 14 fouls for this half. It's the Anderson Athletic Center here in Kalamazoo. Tanner White, thanks so much for joining us over here on YouTube. And the Quincy Hawks and the Lake Superior State Lakers in a 13-point game right now with just over 12 minutes to play. Nate Shockey is about ready to inbound this thing before, uh, eh, well, maybe after one more official conference. The guys in stripes, they did a lot of talking during that break. Want to make sure everybody is on the right page. Inbound goes to Shockey. Hamilton swings one to Thomas. And maybe that's the one to get them going. Cuts the lead to 10. Just seeing one go through that hoop really got to feel good. They were 2 of 17 before that three-pointer. The three-point shooting more than makes up the entire deficit tonight. It's not a bad look from Suleiman, but no dice. Lead stays at 10. 
And now Quincy got the stop on the miss. You know, maybe they get one more three. Or even just a back-to-back -back baskets here would help a lot. I wonder if Womack affected that shot, maybe got a little piece of it. But it missed. That ball is loose. Woke able to pick it up. Somehow toes that baseline, stays in. Womack down the lane, scores. Leads back to a dozen. Thomas to get out and run, switches hands, missed the layup. Rebound, Cassidy. 52-40, LSSU still in control. Soleiman pumps a couple of times. Now in the post, Nwoke drew a foul. The foul looked like it went on Thomas down low, and you really don't fault him there. Thomas was giving up a lot of size after that deep post catch from Nwoke. The next time out here comes with a 12-point lead. Remember, Quincy came out firing, had a had that 17 to 15 lead, and throughout the first you know eight ten minutes or so was largely handling all of the uh, offensive output. But as soon as Edmondson caught fire, the game's flipped around and really hasn't changed much since. Quincy, as they currently trail by 12, is shooting 33 percent from the floor, three of 19. Even though you saw that one three go in a couple of possessions ago. It doesn't erase all of the three-point struggles that have kind of kept your point total pretty in check. You got 10 minutes and 41 seconds to rectify it. Hawks are five of seven from the line. More trips to the line could certainly help to get you even and get some guys in foul trouble that would also make your whole situation a lot easier, but it's easier said than done. Got to put yourself in those situations and uh, draw some contact. Initiate a little bit of contact even maybe in order to get those free throw trips. Perkins out for Edmondson. That quick jab step. Edmondson's shown that a couple of times and then launched him. Womack with the clock running down. Had a baseline cut. Telegraph the pass and it's stolen. Soper was running clean, it looked like, down on that baseline, but uh, nobody on the defense fooled. 12 point game. Shockey pumped from three. Orlando Thomas with the clock running down. Wants to go at Perkins up and under. Missed, and rebound strong by Edmondson. Nobody out there is just a shooter, even if you are a great shooter. Look at the effort from Edmondson on that rebound. And just winning on that box out. As Perkins went up, looks like a foul is going to be called. Foul on John Kelly, his third, team sixth. And now Kelly is going to go off. Drame is going to go on. Ooh, now we got the whole line change coming from the Hawks. Richardson, Thomas, Weak, Brame, and Foster back with the starting five. Womack left open and leaves it short from three. Rebound, Thomas. Richardson wants to go up with that thing in a ton of traffic and no luck. As much as Richardson wants to play bully, you know, it comes back to the shot selection. Don't you want to get some easier ones? What an offensive rebound to keep that possession alive. Ends with an and one.
They're going to get the personal on Foster, his third. And with the free throw coming, they could make this thing 15. Perkins headed to the line for the first time, and a timeout called. Another official timeout here comes with 9.02 on the clock, 54-40, pending a free throw from Lake Superior State. And the Lakers have only committed two team fouls for the period to seven for the Hawks. It's gonna be in a really good position to close this thing out. In terms of your own foul trouble and uh, having almost nothing to worry about there and the double bonus conceivably coming up pretty quick uh, against Quincy. For what it's worth, Lakers have definitely cooled off from three. They're now eight of 25, that's 32%. Still, every time that ball is in Edmondson's hands, you gotta hold your breath and he'll launch from anywhere. Six of 12 from three for Tyson Edmondson. Free throw coming, Kingsley Perkins. And the free throw's off. Ooh, and a foul after on Okerlund. So that's a cheap one, not one that you wanted to give up. It is just his second and the team's third, so you're still in a very good position. Nine minutes in regulation. Xperior State trying to improve to 4-0. Foster on Edmondson. Whipped one way cross court. <laughs> Richardson skies up to grab that one. Now pops from two at the elbow. It's loose. Okerlund dives on it, keeps that thing alive. Womack up for Perkins in a flush. Yeah, somebody needs a timeout. Quincy says we have seen enough. Oh, did we have a tech? I thought it was just a timeout because they were looking over at the Quincy bench, but I believe it's a tech on said bench area. And Edmondson is going to take the technical free throw at the worst possible time for the Hawks. To put his team up 18. Here it comes. Edmondson is perfect. It's 58 40. The last possible moment you could ever afford to lose your head there. Now maybe they're discussing on who exactly they put the tech on. I mean, on the team, it appeared to be on the bench. Quincy really finds their backs up against the wall here, down 18, just over eight minutes to play. Gonna need a flurry. Gonna have to see some of those three-pointers fall, most likely, Brame. Caught up in the air, but that's exactly what you uh, need to do, right? Initiating that contact. And the only two options really are an and one or just a trip to the line for two shots. If you get any sort of defensive indifference and they let you just have the easy bucket, well, then you string a couple of those together with stops and you climb back into it. First free throw, good from Drame. Drame came in a 50% free throw shooter. Wasn't gonna jinx him before he took those. But hey, he makes two right there in a big moment. 58 to 42.
Edmondson off the hands of Kingsley. And now they got some numbers to run with. Thomas to the rack. And he's getting bumped. And you've seen a couple of those on similar plays with Richardson. No foul called. Fifty-eight, forty-two is where our score will stay. Romack on Perkins gets a double and threw it into traffic. Stolen. Richardson tried to hit that thing all the way ahead. Thomas somehow runs it down. <laughs> Looked like originally there was nobody home. That's why you never give up on the play. Foster mid-range two. And out on the baseline. The next stoppage here comes at seven minutes and nine seconds. And Quincy's trimmed the lead by only two. Again, that tech was on the bench area will say I can't be certain exactly who but uh, then the two technical free throws from Edmondson were good and that put him at 20 on the night in fact those are the only two free throws Edmondson has shot just been living at that three-point line and been really good at it 20 points five rebounds couple of assists with six made threes from Tyson Edmondson still leading all scores Kingsley Perkins seven of eight from the floor 15 points, three rebounds. Now with the three fouls, and maybe they come out of this time out and give Perkins a short rest, but he's the only one on the Lakers side with three fouls. I don't know if you're in too much danger if you do decide to play him pretty much the whole rest of the way with those three. Hawks have two with three fouls in Foster as well as John Kelly. Kelly hasn't returned since he picked up that third one. Inbound going to come with seven minutes, nine seconds in regulation. Good roll of the rim from Oakland. Perkins, one of the first times he's caught one outside the paint. He's trying to back his way down there, though. And the hook up and over. Weak scores. Eight of nine from the floor. If only that one tip had gone in from Perkins just to say he's perfect from the floor. But about as good as you can be. Under six and a half. Drame. Step back, mid-range, no good. Rebound, Soma. Skip pass for Perkins. Great extra one for Womack. And the reverse layup. 20-point lead. Lakers are well on their way. Womack got dropped. Thomas missed on the three after, and that's just the story. No matter how good of an offensive set they have, even with some pretty good looking open threes, the shots just haven't fallen. Three of 20 is 15% from three. Inbound goes back for Drame. The woke was the uh, change that the Lakers made there for Kingsley. You gotta understand, Perkins getting a little bit of a rest here with the unbelievable efforts he's been giving him. The couple of offensive rebounds, the spectacular post presence, all of those points coming in the paint with the eight out of nine from the floor. Just everything really impressive. Uh, second trip to the free throw line for Zion Richardson, two shots. And first one is good.
Richardson's perfect on another one, so there's a really bright spot for the Hawks. They are 9 of 11 on free throws. Certain things that you can take away, even from a uh, very unspectacular shooting night from the floor. You say, hey, if we get more free throws and we're hitting them at a really high clip, this might be all right when uh, the shooting goes a little bit cold sometimes. There's an open three for Soma. And that might be the dagger. 65-44. Hawks going to have to scramble. A little bit of a bailout foul. Uh, two shots more will be coming for Foster. Foul on Okerlund, his third. So the bonus will be coming up here. That's six team fouls on the Lakers. And in fact, the Hawks have gone quite a while without fouling. More fouls we have at the end of this game. The longer that uh, Quincy's going to be able to stay around. That's, they just need that clock stoppage. Ooh, that free throw went halfway down and out. Still 20 point game. That 21 point lead at 65 to 44 was the largest that it's been all night. Oakland staying in there with the three fouls. And a beauty of a reverse layup. Soper faked a pass and finished that thing nicely. Leads 22. Foster. Definitely looked to be a kickball. I think that's what we'll get. So line up, do it all over again. 4.28 to play. Lakers trying to go it out in style in this one. Put together a bit of a blowout. Shockey bullying his way in there and two more free throws coming. Nate Shockey headed to the line, two shots. It's the first foul on Womack. But again, it is the team's seventh, so some double bonus could be in order. First one's good. Two free throws from Nate Shockey. Edmondson coming back on, see if he can add at all to that gaudy 20 point effort. The big collision there right by that scorer's table. Edmondson still down, hate to see that at a time like this in a game that's largely been decided. Edmondson gonna need some help from the training staff. Probably gonna see a little stoppage here, hopefully. And the quick injury timeout here comes with uh, four minutes and 16 seconds. And uh, very much quiet in the gym. We'll take a break here and of course, hope the best for Tyson Edmondson.
It has taken a while. Edmondson's going to finally get up off of the deck and uh, certainly has more than earned the last 416 off in this one. He's getting a big hand from everybody here in Anderson. Of course, we'll uh, hope that's nothing major. Edmondson had 17 in his season debut in Lake Superior State's last game and has 20 tonight. Very much your uh, player of the game, giving out the honorary awards. 20 on six of 12 from three, plus five rebounds, couple of assists. Hope that's nothing from Edmondson. Still got about four minutes to play in this one. Hawks gonna have to really scramble, plus have some luck. Shockey to launch, a little bit short, and over the back on Richardson. Richardson was kind of in danger of being tabletopped, in fact. And one final media timeout gonna come with uh, three minutes and 54 seconds left. That'll be after the foul is enforced, it'll actually just be the second one on Richardson. He still has been leading the Hawks the entire way and has really been asked to carry a lot of the offensive load. It's very tough. He's put up uh, 13 field goal attempts. Foster with 12. But uh, those two have no made threes combined. Richardson is uh, 3 of 4 at the free throw line. Quincy overall, again, not doing bad at the free throw line by any means. 11 out of 14 for about 79% for the night. But the three-point shooting, three of 21. With the evolution of the basketball game today, it's just not likely to win practically any game at any level shooting at that kind of clip. From the floor, of course, those are a little bit better numbers, but nothing to write home about either. 16 of 55 on field goals, that's 29%. Whereas Lake Superior State has a chance to finish over 50% shooting. Again, the Lakers will have some things to clean up when they watch the film here. They've got a dozen turnovers total. They've uh, six offensive rebounds, but they've given up nine of them. A few things not to like, but Looks like they're gonna be more than capable of closing this out with a 20 point lead here. Decent trap from Quincy. Womack, wasn't much. It was just a tiny little hip check. I think Drame is still kind of blown away. But uh, the bonus will be in effect here. The free throws coming in a moment from Devin Womack. Well, Max, real quietly in double figures tonight, five of seven from the floor. Most effective as a slasher. And he missed the front end of the one and one, so it's gonna stay where it is. One more foul to give before the double bonus is in effect on that side. Foster, good extra pass for Shockey in the corner. Another three, just no dice. And then I think the loose ball foul after is gonna go on Weak. Soper was the one who bore the brunt of that blow though. Weak second team's ninth. Next one will be double bonus. Two free throws the rest of the way. Hunter Soper head into the line, two shots. And this time they get the front end. Soper was two for four on free throws for the year coming in. 
And goes one for two there. Foster wanted to launch from three, contested. Going to be another dog pile on this thing. Uh, tons of hands on it. Let's see how they sort it out. Possession arrow will stay down there with Quincy. I think we're going to need to take one more little quick timeout to wipe up some moisture on the floor there. 68. 47, Lake Superior State Lakers in all likelihood in position to close this thing out. Hawks with possession though. Shockey, passed up an open three at first. Now goes with the scoop and the score. Nate Shockey with just his second field goal. There's a pass intercepted there by Richardson and he bullies Womack. This could turn around a little bit if Richardson buries both of these free throws. It's a great steal. Jumping that inbound pass. So eight team fouls now against the Lakers, nine against the Hawks. Yeah, we'll have some more free throws coming in this one in the next uh, two minutes and 46 seconds. Zion Richardson. Ready from the line. Three of four so far for the day. First one's good. Hawks have now hit 80% of their free throws. And still find a really big deficit. Gonna have to start blitzing now with a whole bunch of press. It's exactly what we see. And I think they just forced another turnover. Also, ouch, that collision into those chairs from Soper could not have felt good. It's taking a moment to get back there to the huddle. Uh, the timeout here it comes at 68 to 51. But you just forced back-to-back -back turnovers, largely from just switching to the press. You know, if you're like Superior State, you've now got to have one or hopefully multiple plans in place that you could go to to break said press and just not get in position to have to make such tough inbound passes. Zion Richardson, after those last two makes, has 17 points on the night with four rebounds, a couple of assists as well. Five out of six from the line, six of 13 from the field. Nobody else from Quincy in double figures, so really Richardson having to carry a lot of the load. Drame and Nate Shockey have seven apiece tied as the second leading scorers on the Quincy side. Inbound coming from the baseline, should be. Down in the corner, Richardson for Shockey. Now Weak from the post, goes up at Perkins. Perkins with a strong rebound, and that's gonna help. Still, though, a chance with the press to force another one, and they might. Yes, Foster, a flip for Richardson. He's got 19, and this thing just might get fun. That press was merciless. They force in another steal. Drame running the deck. Chance for the and one still. Two shots coming. This thing's turning around and really quick. The steal from Shockey. He hit it ahead for Drame. Two shots coming for Drame here. The foul looked like was on Soma. And that first free throw is perfect. I'd like to say that crazier things have happened. I'm sure across the whole world of college basketball they certainly have, but man, Quincy's playing motivated. <laughs> Did they just start a little bit too late with the press? Probably not. Of course, it's somewhat the nerves and it's always difficult to hold the real big leads if you've maybe relaxed a little bit. 
That second free throw misses. It's going to make it just a wee bit tougher there. Womack able to break the press. Okerlund lays one in to stop the scoring run. 70-54. Now the Lakers can breathe, you know, half a sigh of relief, but with the way you just got blitzed for a couple of straight possessions there, not too long. Shockey caught it way deep in the post. He got tied up, has to just kind of flip that thing out there. Okerlund dives on one, throws ahead for Soper. Flush! Dunked it down, 72-54, and the Lakers might have just sealed this one. Hunter Soper getting out, running, and a one-hander. Shockey to launch from three. Hey, that one falls. And immediately, they call timeout. Nate Shockey buried that thing. He's now in double figures. 72-57. The clock, of course, showing just a minute and 10 seconds, so you would still need a whole bunch of absurdity to happen. But hey, it could be fun. And a man can dream up here, of course. We just want quality basketball. Just give us great games. Truth be told, Quincy has made it into a much, much more competitive game here in the second half. Even if the scoreboard won't show it as much, that last sequence told you everything you need to know that this Hawks team is going to stay around. They're going to battle with a lot of other talented teams. Lake Superior State is one minute and 10 seconds, so from improving to 4-0 and on the season, tied for the first overall spot in that Galeac. Again, they went 12 and 6 in conference play last season and still ended up under 500 overall for the season. It's kind of shocking. They were 13 and 14 overall. Of course, though, it's hard to uh, predict the strength of schedule that you're going to have in your uh, non-conference portion of your season. Of course, once you get into conference play, you typically kind of know which who every team is, you know their identity. If they want to stand around and shoot threes or if they're going to bully you down low and all those kinds of things. And you've got tons of film on all of your conference opponents, of course. This would be a great tune-up for Lake Superior State. And for Quincy, it's more so a uh, measuring stick. You see where you kind of need to be at to hang with other quality teams. Still doing a great job pressing here. I think they're going to get Shockey on a foul this time. Oh no, he just tipped it, so it's going to be out off of Shockey. Now they got to do it again. Shockey got the steal. Drame. Now the follow is tipped in from Hamilton. Cannot say enough about this press. They're dominant right now. Lakers really don't have a whole lot of plans to break it. This will help. Hit one ahead for Okerlund, and they're forced to foul with Richardson. You got to imagine that was part of the plan on the Quincy side, that they said, we are going to have to get ourselves as much time as we can. We're going to have to intentionally foul. And you knew that you were going to uh, be talking double bonus with the next foul regardless. So two free throws the rest of the way for the final you know, 50 seconds or so, but could change the stats just a little bit. Oakland hit that first free throw. Oakland gets two, leads back to 15. But that fight in the Quincy Hawks is uh, not going to be quantified in the stats. It shows up on film. You got uh, Soma there throwing his hands up, saying, OK, that's straight up, right, the whole time. But he's going to be hit with a foul.
the stoppage on a timeout call here comes with 40.9 seconds. It's you know largely a formality. I think we might be wiping some blood right now. Looks like a little bit more than just your average towel wipe. Got a trainer with the, the rubber glove on and the isopropyl alcohol, I think. Yeah, you don't see that too often. But it's the right choice. And athletic trainers never getting enough credit. Getting everybody ready to play every day. Ready to practice even. Just taping ankles and wrists and monitoring the cold top. Stretching guys out. You name it. All without enough praise. Forty point nine is officially what the game clock reads here. Still the fifteen point lead. Womack was the one hit with that last personal actually. I really thought that it was going to go on Soma as he was the one that kept his hands up, saying, Hey, that was straight up. Isaiah Foster, two shots. The first one rolls off. Foster for one more. And he hits. Still trying to intentionally foul. Probably the last possession that we'll see this from Quincy. And foul on Jake Hamilton. Especially with the double bonus in effect. You know, probably regardless of the outcome of these free throws, I do think that's the last time that we will see Quincy elect to intentionally foul. Devin Womack, two shots. <laughs> Has not been a great shooting night uh, at the line from the Lakers. If Womack hits this one, uh, which he does not, now they move to 10 of 19, just over 50%. Richardson attacked the rim one more time, came up empty. Suleiman throws that thing ahead. Okerlund bobbled it, and now again, Quincy does not have to intentionally foul. It'll just prolong this thing a little bit. They still come up with a steal from Shockey. Shockey off the glass, and add two more. Now you think they'll be content to dribble this thing out most likely with Oakland. Yeah, that's gonna be how it plays out. Nate Shockey ends up with a dozen after that last lay-in. The Quincy Hawks are de facto home team tonight here in Kalamazoo, gonna fall to the Lake Superior State Lakers. LSSU improves to four and zero on the young season. Quincy falling to two and three. Really no secret where this game was won and lost it's all about shooting. The Lakers shoot 28 of 52, that's 54% from the floor. Three point shooting cooled off after Edmondson was unbelievable in that first half, hitting five out of nine from three point range. But uh, the Lakers end up shooting nine of 26 for 35% from the line. Quincy, 32% from the field, 16.7% from three, that's four of 24. You know, when the shots really are not falling, it might not matter very much what else you do. If you make a whole lot more of those three-pointers, then we're talking about a much different ball game. Quincy puts together a good uh, performance from the line, 15 of 20 for 75%. And again, the Lakers struggle at the line today mightily, 10 of 19 for 53%. Lake Superior State turns the ball over 18 times, so just eight for Quincy. I mean, eight turnovers is fantastic but in a losing effort, what's it worth? Total rebounding battle, 41 to 34, goes to the Lakers. Quincy also wins the offensive rebounds, 11 to six. Fouls, 18 to 17. You know, they piled up a little bit, both teams having some slight time in the double bonus. Tyson Edmondson, your leading scorer, and we'll absolutely hope that he's okay. After checking out on the kind of scary looking collision right by that scorer's table in the second half, Hope that doesn't affect him too much going forward. Finishes 6 of 12 from 3. 20 points.
five rebounds, two assists to lead all scorers. Kingsley Perkins with 17 on eight of nine from the floor. Devin Womack and Hunter Soper also in double figure scoring for the Lakers. Zion Richardson goes seven of 15 from the field with 19 points, five rebounds, a couple of assists. Really carrying a ton of the offensive load and doing a great job running the floor, finishing some real tough contested shots and drawing a couple fouls. Nate Shockey with a dozen on four of eight shooting for the second leading scorer for Quincy. Thanks so much for everybody that joined us over here from Kalamazoo. Tanner White, happy to bring you the Quincy versus Lake Superior State neutral site game tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to have you back with us next week for Kalamazoo men's basketball. Don't miss those games. Catch them scheduled here on YouTube. Also, go to hornets.kzoo.edu to find further schedule to find the recaps, the stats from this game, as well as the uh, final stats from all the Hornet sports action for the winter and for the entire year. And find this broadcast archived on the Kalamazoo College Athletics YouTube channel. Again, Tanner White here from Kalamazoo. Final score, 75-62. Lake Superior State Lakers over the Quincy Hawks.